Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matthew Bingham and today we're going to go over actually setting up encrypting a root partition as well as a you know file system using Lux and Linux. Uh, earlier what we did is we did an actual install from uh, you know I guess bare metal if you will or a VM where we actually did the encryption in the very beginning um, so that you don't have to go through these steps if you've previously done that on system. Uh, so this time we're actually going to do it on an existing system that's there. Uh, as a disclaimer, please make sure you have backups of your systems. This is just a demonstration of what you can do and how it will work on a system if you need to do it. But by all means, please back up and make sure that you are uh, keeping your system safe uh, with your own backup policies and stuff like that. Um, so first off, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that there is another disk that's on the system that's approximately or larger than the size that you currently have. Um, so, for example, here, if we look at our disk, we can see we got an SDA of 34 gig. Um, there's also a SDB of 34.4 gig, so they're exactly the same size on here. Um, now, SDB is the added disk that we've added that is not part of the system yet uh, for the actual logical volumes and encryption and stuff like that. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a swap and that swap will be between SDA and SDB and therefore using encryption on the new logical volume if you will and then removing the other physical disk. I know that sounds like a lot and it's a big mouthful but I'll try to go through the steps and explain it the best that I can so you can understand what needs to be done. Um, so first of all we need to create a uh, partition on that drive. So we'll do an F disk dev slash SDB. And we're just going to do a print real quick just to see if there's anything on there. There shouldn't be, like I said, this drive was added to this system. Um, so now we're going to say new and we're going to do primary default is fine. And then write. Okay. If we do a clear, if we do an F disk, that L again, we can see that now there is a uh, partition that's created and it has basically the full size of the disk itself. Um, from this point, okay, first thing we need to do uh, in order to use the actual Lux encryption is we need to install the package that we need for this. Uh, that package is the crypt setup, um, so we will put that command in. It's just a yum install crypt setup dash y. Okay, that package has been installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually now encrypt that new partition that we just created with Lux. Um, what we need to do is we need to actually go through and do a Lux format um, that basically will initialize this disk so that it will be ready uh, for that. And that is the crypt setup. Okay, just a word of caution. Make sure that you use the proper format. As you can see, there's a capital F for format. Many times I've missed that. Just want to give you a heads up on that. So it'll be crypt setup, Lux format with a capital F, and then the new device that we just created or the new drive that we created with the F disk which is the SDB1, uh, which is the partition one of that actual device SDB. So once we do that, it will go through and actually, once you do that, you'll come up with a warning. Uh, when that warning pops up, you, are, you need to type in uppercase yes. As I said previously, make sure you have backups or make sure that you're doing this on a system that you do not care about. Um, so please, Heed that warning um, for that. So we're going to say yes. And now it wants to know a passphrase. Um, so this will be a passphrase that will be required to unlock this device. Um, even on boot up and stuff like that as well. So make sure you remember this because if you do not remember this, you're pretty much uh, done having access to that system. So we'll put that password in or passphrase. OK, 
Okay, at that point it has gone through and now we actually have the encryption on that device. Okay, once that's been created, we are now going to actually open up that encrypted device with the lux open command. And it, once again, watch that capital O for open uh, the device. And then we're actually going to give it a uh, mount name of new protect. You can make this anything you want. Just, you know, know that it will be mounted as that uh, name for that uh, time that you're going to be setting it up. So we're taking that device, SDB1, and we're going to mount it to the new protect uh, for that. So we'll hit enter here. And it's going to ask for that passphrase. So remember, don't forget that passphrase. If I do a quick list on the dev mapper, we can see that new protect uh, partition that we had. And you can see that it's listed there. Um, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to do a PV create, which is a um, basically a uh, physical volume create of that name of that. So we'll do a PV create. So we'll do PV create dev mapper and then new protect or whatever name you use for your device. And then we can see that we have now a physical volume of dev mapper new protect and it was successfully created. If we quickly do a PVS to show our physical our, our uh, physical volumes, we can see we've got dev mapper uh, new protect, and then we can see we got dev SDA2, which is currently being used, and it is in the volume group of CentOS. At this point, what we're actually going to do is we're going to add that new uh, physical volume to the volume group. And all you have to do for that is you can do a VG display. And that will show you your volume group name is CentOS. And that it currently has right now just the one disk. We're actually going to add that disk that we just encrypted. So what this line does is it extends the CentOS volume group with DevMapper new protected physical volume. And you can see that it has now been successfully extended. And here if we actually do a... VGS, we can see that our volume group is CentOS. There's two physical volumes. There's two logical volumes. And that it has a total size of about 63 gig with 32 gig free. Um, if we do PVS, as we did previously, we can see that we've got the Dev Mapper New Protect and the Dev SDA2. Currently, right now, everything is on the SDA2 uh, physical volume. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to be moving from the actual SDA2 volume all the data off from there to the new protect physical volume. Therefore, we're actually taking everything from an unencrypted state and putting it onto the encrypted device. Uh, once it's on that encrypted device, then we're actually going to drop that unencrypted uh, device. And then at that point, we'll be able to tell and make sure that the system is encrypted at that point. Um, so we're basically just doing kind of a swap if you want to think of it that way. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a PV move of the dev SDA2 to the dev mapper new protect. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually move uh, pretty much block by block if you want to think of it that way from SDA2 to the new encrypted uh, physical volume that we have within that volume group. This will take some time and we'll come back to it. Okay, it is now said that it is 100% moved over to the new physical encrypted uh, volume. So we'll do a PVS again real quick just to check. And as we can see here, it has now swapped. The SD2, uh, I'm sorry, SDA2 is now completely free and empty. And now the encrypted, the new protect physical volume has all of the information transferred over it. So you may be wondering, what state is it in now? And just to let you know, 
If you look at it, you can think of it this way. Everything is now on the encrypted physical volume. So what we can do to make the volume group encrypted and everything on it, we can remove the SDA2 since nothing is on it right now. We moved all the data off from it to the new protected one. So we're actually going to do a volume group reduce. And what that will do is it will remove the uh, SDA2 uh, physical volume from our volume group. And therefore, everything that's in this volume group will be encrypted because it has that new protected physical volume in there. So the command is VG reduce. CentOS is our uh, volume group. And then that device that's in there, the SDA2. And it has removed it. And now that that's been removed, we're actually going to uh, remove the unencrypted physical volume as well. And then that way it's completely gone and we don't have to worry about it. So what we're going to do is do a PV remove. And now it has been successfully wiped and it's, it's gone and it's no longer there. If we do a VGS now, we can see it just has the one physical volume and the one uh, and uh, the two logical volumes. But if we do a PVS, we can see that it only has that single encrypted physical volume in that uh, group. Now the next part's a little bit tricky, but it's really not that bad. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to uh, go in and make changes to what's called the Etsy Crypt tab. It's very similar to the FS tab, but you can just think of it as basically a, a location for your uh, encrypted devices and stuff like that. Next, we're going to generate the UUID of the Lux device. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this uh, name or this device to the Etsy Crypt tab. So here's our name and our UUID. So we just need to take this information here, just copy that, and then we're going to go back to that crypt tab. And then within our crypt tab, we're going to put the name of it. And then after that, we're going to do UUID equals, and this is just going to be that uh, the UUID, not the actual Lux itself. So that's the UUID. And then none. So as you can see, very similar to the FS tab, but this is the, the Crypt tab. Okay, so we're going to right click that. We're just going to cat this out real quick. And we can see the information's there. Just verify that to make sure it's right so that when we do decide to reboot the system that it comes up properly and actually has that proper information in there. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're actually going to need to update the sysconfig grub. So if we do a let's see, sysconfig grub. We can see that it has the uh, read logical volume CentOS root read logical volume CentOS swap, and then this other information. I'm going to try to make this a little bit bigger, fit all of this in. So what we need to do is we need to make changes to this uh, grub command line. So we got the rd uh, lvm dot lv, and then our volume group, and then root, which is good. And then we got RD LVM LV equals CentOS swap. Um, so that's good. Now what we need to add is the RD.lux. And that's that same UUID that we had previously. Okay, once that's been uh, updated, then we actually have to rebuild the Grub2 config. Okay, it's going to go through and recreate that new Grub config file for there. And then what we need to do now is actually rebuild the init ram fs, um, which is with a dray cut command. Okay, that's some, that has completed. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my virtual environment and we're going to reboot this. Okay, I've got my Proxmox console uh, set up for this system. So we're going to reboot it and uh, go from there. So... Okay. 
And there we go. We are now prompted for that passphrase. So as I remember, remember that passphrase. And this will unencrypt the drive and let us uh, log into the system. Okay, we're now logged into the, or now the system's back up. And from our putty session, we should be able to restart that. Clear that. Just going to do a quick PVS. There we go. We can see that that was on the encrypted. And we should be all set. Uh, your physical volume is now encrypted on there. Um, that includes your root volume as well as uh, any of your other logical volumes, the swap and stuff like that on this box. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit long. Um, I'll have the basic steps in the uh, comments and the details of this video. And hopefully this will help you out. Again, this is MB Tech. Please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.